Workouts that are not required are huge for teams because that means that we care about each other, that we're here putting in the work, that we're willing to sacrifice of our own individual time. Those are things that when you go through rough patches, that's what surfaces. This is the most active I've seen, um, you know, a team like in the off season. Even like in August and September, leading up to camp, you know, guys are probably still on vacation, the guys are doing their own thing, but you know, since I've been here, the whole team's been here besides the guys who were playing the Eurobasket. As soon as those guys were done Eurobasket, they came straight here. We're gonna have to bring a lot of energy and we're gonna have to have a competitive spirit in, in order to win a lot of games this year. So connectivity and the communication over the summer was huge for us. I think when you have a group of guys that embody that discipline, it's one less thing that, from a coaching standpoint, from a player standpoint, you have to worry about. Because you know the guy next to you is doing everything possible to make sure you guys are going to be in a position to win. Then you take that to another level and you say, uh, we're going to eat together, we're going to break bread together, we're going to laugh and joke. Like all those little tiny bits of minutia, those are the things that really make a team special. And it goes from a I to a we. And to see these guys dedicate themselves that way, it just, it makes me smile. I know we got a lot of work to do. I totally, I get that. But that is the starting ground for beginning to make something special. Together on three, one, two, three. Together. <laughs> I think it's cool um, just being able to wear this uniform. I'm excited to wear this jersey for a while. Now, I'm not someone that'll take photos for just because cameras come on. I try and act like I'm, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Feel good. First midi day with sack. Let's get it. Some new digs, new colors. Headband is new this year. I feel like I've had the same look going for my first four years, so trying something new and see if people like it. Obviously our first preseason game is I think on Monday, so I'm really more looking forward to that. I feel like that wasn't enough, hold on. <laughs> Look at that, holy moly. That's pretty good. They, they, what is, what's that for, introductions or something? Yeah, yeah. Put that on the jumbo right. try. Like a wrestler over here, you know what I'm okay. saying? I need the introduction. Okay, okay, I like it. Yes, like sir, it. yes, sir. <laughs> Did you hear me yell? Yeah, would you? How'd it sound? You sound high. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They said dude was over here yelling a second ago. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, somebody's report already tweeted it. <laughs> oh, really? <Yeah. laughs> somebody's yelling at me, so I thought people were trying to communicate with me, so I had to communicate back. <laughs> Regardless. Does that I'm, concern you? <laughs> no. Ah! I love it.
Good body. Go. Go. Who's that? Our eyes. <laughs> Say hi. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, buddy, are you ready for training camp? First day of training camp. It's pretty early. I'm excited. Things have changed a little bit now. Um, I have a little baby boy, and um, today, for example, uh, he woke up at 6, 6.15, so I've been up since then uh, playing with him, uh, changing his diaper, um, etc. <laughs> and uh, uh, always make my coffee right before I leave uh, to practice. I got my mug here, I got from my wife. <laughs> Fits perfect in the in the mug holder in the car and uh, nothing on my way there I'll, I'll have breakfast there um, and then start getting to work uh, my first years in the league I was always a minute from the arena so I can sleep and then just go to practice you know um, but as I got older uh, I moved out two years ago uh, into, into the suburbs and I think it was the best thing ever um, same 25 30 minute drive but I feel like it gets me it gets me locked in I have time to think have my coffee and just have time to myself and uh, I feel like I'm in a, a lot better mental space instead of practice at 9.30, get there at my first um, mandatory time 10, minute, 10 minutes before, just wake up, brush my teeth and go, you know, so like it's all rushed. Here I have time to prepare, be um, focused, so um, I definitely pre prefer this more now. First day of training camp with the Kings, the emotions are high, the building's, the building's excited, uh, I, everyone feels energy, I feel like you can feel it at uh, media day. Everyone was screaming, even my ground was uh, screaming. <laughs> and uh, I think everyone's gonna be excited. Uh, we have a lot to learn. Today's gonna be a big mental day and uh, physical day. And we're just gonna have to go get after it. And that's what training camp is, I'm excited for it. Do they know who this is? This is Keegan, he rarely speaks, but... Uh, <laughs> I feel like everybody since the season ended, uh, everyone's been uh, locked in. It's been a long summer for, for all of us. Uh, we've, uh, once we found out uh, our new coaching staff, uh, we had a plan and everyone's been following it, so everyone pushes themselves. You wanna come here and introduce yourself to the fans? En Español? This is Viva España, aquí. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. For, for the fans. For the fans? For the Kings. For your fans. fans? For my fans? Yeah. I don't know if they're ready for that. We'll see. Mm -hmm. cool. DC? Yeah. No to go cup. No to go cup. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I come in town, I'm not here for three months. The day I get here, he magically gets hurt and he can't guard me one on one. For us, it's uh, uh, laying the foundation culturally. You know, we, we talked about the alignment of trust across the board. We talked about establishing and upholding our values and our principles. Uh, our biggest thing is to get our, our five staples uh, offensively and our five staples defensively uh, laid down. We want to be competitive. Uh, for me, that's the biggest thing. We want to have that competitive spirit every time we step on the floor. And if we do, uh, all the other stuff will fall in place. Zach, you got him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good, TV. Good, TV. Good. That's it right there. You. Rotate. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Good. 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 Yes, sir, John Moss. He goes down here. He gone. So it's, you got to take that high shoulder. Does that make sense? Here we go. I want us to have fun. Uh, I want the joy to be at a high, high level within this group. And uh, I want guys to display it. If we're going to do it, let's do it right. So that weak corner is the most important. Hey! Fucking stuff. Turn the fucking deck. Turn the fucking jets on. Turn the fucking jets on. Good. Get there. Get there. To hear him as vocal and how, see how passionate he is about, you know, um, winning and holding each other accountable and competing. You know, it gave me goosebumps. It gave everybody goosebumps. It was great. Good. I like that he's uh, willing to listen. Uh, some coaches, maybe, you're scared to go up to them. He's very approachable and he's been around all the best in the league. The more I can pick his brain, I feel like the better it will be for the team and I. Right now, because see, I don't want that big. I think he's chasing, chasing the, ball. the ball. You know what I'm saying? But he's just someone that, you know, wants to get to know, you know, everybody. You, uh, your family. Um, he's someone who's he's very personable. Trey, in the corner, right? Don't play him like this. He, he actually came out to your basket. I woke up that morning, we was playing Great Britain, first game of the year basket. He texted me, was like, hey, Alex, what's up, how you doing? I was a high coach, and he was like, I'll be at the game today. Like, he didn't even tell me that he was coming. Like, very likable, great, great person to be around. Hey, nice job, man. Hey, hey, hey we'll, we'll send you guys a text of which group comes at 6 and which group comes at 6.45. Nice job. Hey, good work today, y'all. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Together. I'm not that special, so. Hey, <laughs> I'm really excited, not excited this guy. He's gonna turn four next week, so this is his birthday present. And the only thing he wants is to meet him and make the playoff. We're, we're the underdogs, and I think this is the year. Who's your, who's your favorite player? Keegan Murray, Malik Mock, Sabonis, Herder. Fox. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Sacramento. For sure. Happy to be here. Hey, we, we gonna be in the playoff, right? Yes, sir. That's yes, it. sir. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think he's gonna surprise a lot of people, don't you? Yeah, yeah. he's gonna be really good. I think he, people are here gonna be is. really surprised by him. He is, that's right. Yeah. You guys watched the football game today? Uh, yeah, we did. It was bad. Brutal. Yeah, of course. I, I like yeah, thanks for, thanks for coming out. I think the expectations are pretty high. We're really trying to get into the playing tournament, and hopefully with Keegan's help and the rest of the crew, I think we have a good shot of getting in there. Go yeah. That was my first time holding a baby, though. Hi. hi. What's up? How are you? Good. Oh, hi. How... Do you do babies? Yeah, yeah, of do course. You want, do you, do you want to hold yeah, I can hold her. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't cry. Welcome to Sac. Appreciate it. Thank you. I've really <laughs> never held a baby standing up before, so <laughs> so that that was a first. I think we have um, a lot of a lot of talent on this team. Probably most talent than that that we've had since I've been here. And guys are hungry. Guys are ready to go. When we have guys that are aggressive and, and competitive and want to be on the court and that are going to push you to play better, it just helps everybody out. That's basketball, man. We got to go out there and compete. And, and that's what I love to do. There's going to be a lot of battles going on, man, from everybody. And I, lo I love that. If you're starting or coming off the bench, you know, we're still one team and, you know, we're, we're still trying to work together to win as many games as we can. If you want to be the best of the best, you've got to know how to compete. And you've got to know how to compete for 48 minutes. And the last thing I will say on that is, again, it's, it's easy to compete when shit's going good. And I want to see that, and we all should expect that from all of us. But you know, if we're down 30 or up 30, I'll give it As long as we're competing. So I want to see if y'all, as a group, to compete.
when we hit adversity. Races up the floor, beats Reeves, hammers it with the left hand off inside. The high window, there's his first bucket in a Kings uniform in the preseason. Murray drives it into the paint, sets up the alley-oop, rip it home, big fella. Murray calls for the ball, gets it, launches for three. He's got the triple. Just talk to us about the choice of like, Yo, wearing man, the puzzle. Got, I'm just coming in comfortable, super comfortable. I always come to practice or to the game comfortable. Dress good, feel good, play good. That's what they say. Come on, let's go. Have a good one. Alex, 82 and 2. I think a perfect preseason game is what you just seen from the Kings. Defensively, they were pretty physical. Offensively, they were very physical. How they want to play. So credit to them. Love it, love it, love it, love it, I love it. If you compete every night for as close to 48 minutes, that only gives you a good chance to win. <laughs> That doesn't guarantee that you'll win. But at the end of the day, I don't care what the score is, as long as we can all walk away from that court saying we competed. You know, the ball is power. You know, the ball is power, the ball is energy. You move the, you move the ball, you move energy around. The guys are going to like playing with each other. It helps build chemistry pretty fast. We're all trying to balance the needs of the roster. This is always the hard part. we got to make a decision soon. Let's talk through what we've thought so far and kind of where we're at on each guy. 